Hello my girls! So this week I propose you my third uh, Halloween makeup tutorial and this time, as I am crazy about Harry Potter, I'm doing Bellatrix Lestrange. So it's a very easy makeup tutorial. Uh, you don't need a lot of stuff, just your usual makeup can work and dry shampoo for the white in the hair. And after you just have to wear um, a black dress and that's enough. So I hope you will like it and let's watch the video. I begin this makeup by applying my usual foundation. If you have, you can apply a lighter one, but uh, mine was the lightest I could find, so it will work, I hope. And I hide my imperfections with a corrector and I blend everything. I don't cover my dark circles as I will need to highlight them. Bellatrix looks really tired. Then I apply a translucent powder on everything so it stays all day. And I begin my contouring to have a really wasted face, so I just apply a brown powder under my cheek and I will blend it and I also apply it on my nose to make it appear smaller. I take a brown with a purple in it to highlight my contouring to make it darker and I just cover what I've just done and blend again. I also apply this color on my lid and on my lower lash line. With the darker eyeshadow I will darken my look, so normally Bellatrix Lestrange uh, doesn't have a lot of makeup but it allows I think to have a more dramatic look, so I also apply this color in the inner corner. I apply a curl just uh, along my lash line that I will blend with uh, black eyeshadow. Finally I apply mascara to have a really big look and to have a more dramatic look. For the eyebrow, she doesn't have a really defined eyebrow so I just apply a gel so they're old during all the party or all the night, whatever. It's now time to look tired and to create uh, dark rings under my eyes so I use a red berry lipstick, just a little bit of it that I blend under my eyes to really create a tired look. I also apply the same color just under my brow, so it appears that I didn't sleep for a while. To make my face even more wasted, I will use a blue-purple eyeshadow that I will uh, use to contour a little bit again my face. And I will also use it to increase my uh, dark rings. Don't hesitate to apply a lot for a more dramatic effect, otherwise you won't see it on pictures. For the lips I used a red berry color but Bellatrix uh, doesn't have like really dark lips so I will just remove a little bit of the product with a tissue. With a thin eyeliner I will recreate the tattoo of Bellatrix that she has in the neck. So it's runes and numbers, uh, the numbers of her room in Azkaban. To recreate a little bit our hairstyle, we will need first to create curls, so I will uh, brush my hair so it's easier to make curls, create, create a separation, and then I will make uh, small curls with small locks of hair. So don't worry, I won't show you all the curl making. When one section is done, you can apply hairspray so your curls and your hair will hold all night. When all my hair are curled, I separate them and I will backcomb them so I look a little bit crazy and I create the maximum volume as possible. 
when it's done uh, and that you have a lot of volume, you can try to make a half ponytail, but a very messy one, so don't hesitate to try different ways and just to create a very messy style. Finally, to have white hair, you can just use a white hairspray or a dry shampoo, which is the best for me, because it's easy to remove uh, compared to the white hairspray. So this is my treasure that I bought in Florida in Universal Studio. It's not the magic wand of Bellatrix Lestrange but it's the one of uh, Narcissa Malfoy because I thought it was so pretty and so on so yeah. everybody for watching this was my third uh, makeup tutorial for Halloween if you want to check uh, the mermaid look and uh, the sugar school look you can just go in the information and I see you soon for a new one je suis sérieuse black <laughs> <laughs>